Rolfe is raising a water bug. Her daughter Allie took her first swimming lessons when she was only six months old. Last summer we did survival swimming at our own home. We had a private instructor come in and do the basics to teach them to flip over and float and get to the side. A good start, but even Kim knows it's a drop in the bucket when it comes to drowning prevention. Dr. Alex Donishman is a critical care pediatrician with the Children's Hospital. The one thing that will keep the kids safe around the pool is the parental supervision. Watching your kids while they're swimming to make sure that they are out of danger and they are not falling down, they're hitting their head, or they're having any types of accident while they're in the pool. They're beautiful to look at, but no one expects to have a death trap in their backyard. With over a million residential pools, drowning is the number one cause of death for children under five. My nephew fell in a few years ago. Somebody left the pool gate open at my in-law's house and he fell in, but everybody got him right away. So yeah, it was scary. Even though the pool fence was there, it wasn't closed properly. Which is why it's important to layer barriers of protection. Having a phone by the pool, learning CPR, teaching your kids to swim, having uh, barriers such as pool alarms and pool safety gates, those all make a huge difference. It could be the difference between life and death and why parents should approach pool safety with their eyes wide open. Better to be safe than sorry. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.